Sarah, for many people, uh, I remember Snowvid was a very tough thing to go through. But I have to say, probably one of the greatest weeks of my life. I remember that weekend we had gone to uh, go have a nice dinner the Saturday night before everything was supposed to hit. I was gonna leave the next day before all the bad weather came. We had an amazing dinner, an amazing time together. Your parents took us back to the house and then I did not leave for about another week because <laughs> the weather hit and I wasn't going anywhere. That was, in all honesty, probably one of the greatest weeks of my life. How else could I choose to spend an entire week but cuddling up on the couch, keeping each other warm under a blanket while the weather raged outside? I wouldn't have chosen anything else. I think that's just one of the reasons why I love you. You can take the bad things and make them good. You can take the tough times and make them good. You can take a natural disaster and make it like the best vacation I've ever had. You can take a dull, boring day and make it a fun adventure. You can make a long car ride into the best jam session I've ever had. That's just one of the things I love about you. You make the good bad for me. No, the other way around. The good, you make the bad good. If I had to choose when I first decided I loved you, I would have a very hard time pinpointing that. For so long, it was us spending weekends together. And at some point along the line, I realized that I wasn't just planning my weekend and inviting you to come. We started planning our weekends together. And before long, I realized that I never wanted to change. I want every day to be with you. I want every weekend, every trip, every fun, awesome time, every difficult journey to be with you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Dylan, on our first date, I knew that I wanted there to be a second one when you stopped mid-sentence to shout, look at that dog, while pointing <laughs> at a dog across the street. I knew that I loved you and could see a future together when less than two months later, you drove an hour and a half in rush hour traffic just to give me a hug after I'd had a hard day at work. Throughout our relationship, you have shown me the caring man that you are by how lovingly you treat me and everyone around you. When I first met you, I prayed that if you were the man that I should marry, God would open all of the doors for us in our relationship, and he would continue to guide us together and to develop a stronger relationship with him. God has certainly shown me that you are the man I should marry. You have blessed me in more ways than I can count. You have given me a second family that I'm very excited to join, and I'm excited that you are joining my family as well. Through you, I've made so many amazing new friends, and together we found a church family, and we are continually drawing closer to God. I cherish every moment I have with you, and I look forward to spending a lifetime together. As a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, to pronounce them husband and wife. Dylan, you may kiss your bride. Before the day started, this whole you know planning period, I've been like, oh, I gotta pick the right song to walk down the aisle, so it's gotta be perfect, because that's what I'm gonna remember. I don't even recall, like, I know they were playing the song, but I didn't even hear the song. I was just looking at Dylan the whole time, and he was crying. <laughs> and I don't cry normally, but I was getting a little teary. I remember seeing you come down the aisle. I had no idea what to expect. I thought I had it, again, I thought I had it under control, but I could not contain myself. I was bawling like a baby when I saw you walking down the aisle with your dad in that beautiful dress and just knowing that I get to have you for the rest of my life. I love you so much, Dylan and you are my favorite person, and I will always spend five more minutes with you. When it came for time for the, uh, the letter you gave me, I was both surprised, but also in a place where I knew exactly what was happening, because I've known you long enough to know you would exactly give me a letter. You would, of course, give me a letter the day of our wedding. I should have expected it from the very get-go. Um, I was so thankful to get that from you, and I just couldn't contain it was so you, and I loved every second of it. 
and I love the fact that I can spend the rest of my life with you the same way you said you want to spend yours with me. So thank you for being the most amazing person I've ever known. I love you.